Hey guys, Outer Orange here, so we are back here with some more Enchanted Arms, 100% playthrough on the PS3, so I just, I just want to stop for a second. We are finally here at the moment that I've personally been waiting for. You guys may have not been as much because I've been talking about it since day one. We are officially going to start opening up the doors and getting the Guardians and getting that dungeon I've been talking about open. We're going to the first one right now, and I'm going to be doing all four of them in this video. I'm going to be trying to go as quickly as possible to each area. I know exactly where they're all located, just going to find the fastest route to get to all of them. We are coming going into the woods for the first one and then we'll be going into London City's uh, caves for the second one and then the third one's in Kyoto City um, well before Kyoto City in the world of winds of Kyoto City and then we're going to be getting um, the fourth one in the cave before you go to the Sage's Tower so those are the locations of all of them if you decide you want to do them on your own um, you've probably seen all four of them, at least three of them. Like, the first three are kind of obvious, though the fourth one's a little bit more hidden in the cave than the other ones are. But I didn't, unless, if you actually go looking for chests, it's really kind of hard to miss them. I feel like the God Ore people are a little bit easier to miss than the, um, than, than these guys. So, that's just my personal opinion on it. Alright, so first one's in this area. We should be coming up to him relatively soon-ish. And I do recommend saving prior to fighting every single one of these, just to stay safe. You don't want to, you know, backtrack all that work. So... Let's um, I do put a healer in my party for these kind of battles. I usually like to use a rose whip as weird as it sounds, like other people usually don't use her, but I do. Um, but anyway, so, but when I'm when I'm not just doing normal battles and I'm doing like boss fights, I always like to have a healer in. So just something to keep in mind if you guys like using humans, I definitely recommend Karen, uh, Kareen be in the party. So yeah. Uh, these dang encounters. I don't want to spend a hundred a hundred thousand chips on the on them taking getting rid of the encounters, but it's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> Whatever, it's SP. I just gotta think of it in a good way. It's SP that I need. Oh I missed one, that's darn it. Oops team, I need to do that. Oh, so much damage, so scary. <laughs> it's crazy to think that used to, these guys used to be like hard. <laughs> I think I see it. Yeah, there he is. So, uh, so that's a big indicator that you're in the right spot. <laughs> Alright. Like I said, you want to save prior to doing this. I also have, let me, I got, I'm level 46 right now, and I also have my god orb, or, uh, god orb weapons equipped while I'm doing this. I highly recommend doing that if you decide that you do want to go for the dungeons. Um, I do have a video separate to this that explains where the two god orb locations are, and the first one's in the Sage's Tower itself. But anyway, just as a little kind of explanation, like, don't go on to, I guess, these guys if you're not ready for them. What the heck? They really just getting encountered before an actual encounter. I don't know about these bowsers, but they're fast and easy. Alright, anyway, um, did I- I did save, but I was just- I was talking about saving. Anyway, so let's face him. This is the White Tiger. I believe this is a fire-based one. You definitely want to, um... You definitely want to put in um, people in your party that aren't going to be super weak to do these guys because they do do a lot of damage. Ooh, I see. Dang, am I not ready to fight these guys yet? I don't know how I wouldn't be. But that's, a, that's not a good sign. It might just be the location. Might be like there's a stronger ability. Okay, that's a little bit better. Alright, um, I'm going to just definitely stay back. This thing has a ton of health. Oh, 
that sucks. I'm gravitized. I'm just gonna keep following up with this kind of maneuver for now. I'm definitely gonna stay in the back. Seems to be the safest route right now. Oh, that's not good though. That is not good because now I can't I can't heal properly. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to do it like this. Oh, that sucks. Because now I can't use any of his abilities. That's so unfortunate. Or hers. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. He moved. A little bit more just in order to do that maneuver. Plus, he's a light. Ooh, he actually. This actually would do double damage to him, but I am gonna wait a little bit on it. He's earth based, by the way. Oh my. Sucks, I can't even moon trigger. It was actually kind of getting scary. Dang. Now we're all. Is she moon trigger? Oh, and music dance though, which will do about the same. Or I can, well, in order to do this, I'll need him to be in a better place. Force pain. Intense ether power zone strikes all enemies. That does a lot if I could just get him like over there. Okay, this is kind of unfortunate. This is not looking good. I can arrow him now. That's what all I can do though. He really wants her dead. I guess it'd be best for her to die off, to be honest. At this point. I'd rather him focus on Atsuma. Then I could whip out this. It'll be like a combo. I think it'll do extra damage. Reduce them to ash. Awesome. Okay, so I can also use that if need be. Okay, that's what I wanted to focus on is me, because that way I can actually hit him. I hate that he keeps switching between the two of us, it's really annoying. Whatever, we're gonna kill him. That's the good part. He has a lot of health. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh. 
The good part is you actually get to keep these guys after you kill them. You do get their warp. Whew. See? There we go. Okay, so we got our earth orb. Now let's get the heck out of here. I also have my perimeters that I probably should be upgrading these. Increase that too, just in case. Alright, whew, that was rough. But we did it. It was rough, but we did it. That's what matters. We lost Lily Lily like so early on. That's insane. Well, she, she was also, sometimes it's placement too, that sometimes you can actually reload and you'll have better placement and everything will be okay. So it's another thing that can become an issue. Alright, Felicia. Who the heck's Felicia? I also have that guy, I forgot about him. There she is. She's got quite a bit of SP. Let's get the heck out of here and go to London City and go to our next one. We're gonna go to the caves now. One plus couple. I just can't really see them. I was like, what? So now you guys can see why I use Florisha. <laughs> I just find her pretty useful. She, she's, uh, you would think that just a little healing person wouldn't be that useful, but she really is. She makes it through. The heck are these guys? Why is there so many of them too? That was, I actually didn't think I was going to make it through that battle. After I saw that instant death, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so screwed. I was just thinking about how much I'm not going to be okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, these encounters though. I talked about Yuki's new ability. I want to look at it. I have a, an abil a new ability for her that looks actually kind of useful. I, mean, I haven't looked at the um, no one, one right now. Happy tree. Huh, not bad. Quite a bit of damage. I want to see what it looks like. Huh. Oh, it's similar to our other ones, just like a stronger in a different way. It's just a stronger version of the other one with light with one less grid.
Okay, if you guys remember correctly where the um, caverns are located. Uh, because I, I remember a long time ago, back in the day when I played this game prior, it was I, I had so much trouble finding this one in particular because it's such a weird spot. But um, we're going to go there right now. So it's kind of a long walk, just FYI. If you want to get that no encounters skill, that might become pretty useful. So this is just a pretty decent bit. We're going to go down through the sewers, into the cabin, into the cave, and then the cave is where the the thing is. On the bright side, the other two are going to be way easier to obtain, thankfully. These two are like the longer ones, in terms of um distance. This is definitely the longest one to get, is this one right here. I wish there was a little teleportation to the caves, but apparently that's how that there isn't. So I have to do this the long way. Zuma just piss you off. Ugh, he pisses me off. <laughs> he just he just says some I'm not gonna spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it yet, but he does he says some stupid ass shit to the females, let me tell you. Alright, let's go left. Hi sir. Bye sir. This isn't really that long of a walk, but still. Because we're gonna go there and then come back to some. They really should have made a teleportation device to all of these creatures. Don't you agree with me? I feel like that should be a thing. We're gonna get encountered like somewhere right here. I I used to I went here for a little bit just to get some SP to get one of one of my few skills that I use. I forget why I was here, but I was I was trying to become stronger for some for some weird reason. It was it wasn't recording with you guys when I did it, but it definitely happened. Remember the box room? This is the box room, guys. God Sugo was very happy. Wow, not a single encounter. That's shocking. I can't believe how much we've done in this game. And then there's that's where the magic core was. Now we're going out here. Took a nice Brisk full walk to the cat to the cave. I guess we don't need the headquarters anymore, so I guess that's kind of why we don't need a top edition. But it'd just be useful just to get to the to the dudes. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there's one behind it, really. First order. What the heck is your first order? This thing is dead new. I don't remember that ever being a thing. A little creature. It's weak regardless. Alright. To the caves we go. I do want to see, check in here, see if there's another golem that we can size for new skills. Then. Nope, just a wide range skill. Boring. Now we don't need these anymore because they're useless. Alright. Fire Guardian. Hold squat. Like these names. Oh, that's the guy that we picked up recently. And then, oh, that's okay. I'm gonna do the gold squad actually because he's a level one, so he's just gonna instantly like level up pretty high. Black dragon. Looks pretty badass. It's very Rygar-ish. Like the way it fights. Alright, let's go in here. I just gotta it's it's down below. So we have to use our wagons to where we can just go below. Like go down. Hopefully I'll be able to do this in like one shot without using these wagons too much. being very annoying. Hi, Kitty. Yes, I know. Come on. Yeah, oh, she's so needy. Alright, anyway. Back to business. Okay, so we... Let me show you where we're going. Well, I guess I can't show you. 
guess I can just change this and that will force me to go down. Okay, good. Oh, dang it. Oops. That would happen. <laughs> Imagine being that strong like all the time. It's gonna be really boring. Let's get on the wagon. Okay, so this should lead to the to the golem pretty easily. Yeah, there he is. There's our door. Not too bad, not too bad. That's like a 10 minute hike. Including encounters and all that junk. Save in front of this guy. Just to be on the safe end. I mean, we did get um, 8,000 SP for, for just doing the encounters. It's not too bad. That's still like HP and stuff that, that we don't have to increase again. Alright, let's do this. Divine Turtle. The four holy beasts who guard the shrine of God. One of those powerful ones chosen by us four may meet the slumbering king. God. Okay, anyway, so let's fight him. <laughs> so they're called holy beasts or whatever, so. Alright. Oh, this one isn't a caught off guard type of thing. He is a water type. So I'm definitely gonna wanna do some of that. I'm gonna pot shot him from here. I'm going to stand by and hit the stand by for now. He's very, um, Emperor of Fire-ish. This is, a, I guess, the best way to explain how to, how to deal with this guy. Yikes, that was that was awful in terms of pain and suffering. This is just EP. I'm gonna put it on the back so you can get some healing done. Put her up front. So put her in the back, actually. Jeez, that's brutal. Yeah, he's not lagging. I'll keep blasting like that. Dang, this isn't going well. Bits to go. I don't think I'm gonna kill him, guys. I might have to accept my defeat here. Can I flee? I can't run away from battle. Alright, so let me see here. 
Best way to fight this guy. Alright, we dropped this pretty well. Alright, um... So we are going to edit our party and we're going to put in this guy. This guy we shouldn't have a problem or not nearly as much of a problem. He does he has a little barrier ability, so that will definitely help us out. Alright, um Alright, let's try again. The barrier will help us a lot. We need like a solid barrier type golem. He doesn't catch you off guard, which is really useful. We're gonna instantly put barrier in. doing that. That's not good. I have no way to bring it back either. I really should have gotten some recovery stuff for this fight. I think I can fight it again. This is unfortunate. It's just gonna take me down. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, we gotta figure something out here. This is not working nearly as well as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna reload since I lost all my... all my VP doing that. Let me prep myself up because apparently I don't have enough to prep with. Okay, let's see here. I'm not gonna lie, I might actually need Rager for this fight. Let me just, I have the perfect item for him. Right here. I'm back in action. That's who it was. It's Rygar. I remember that one time I was walking around was to get Rygar's crap up. Okay, actually, first we're gonna get some skills up in here. Okay, we need Mega Blade. Sure. And then we're definitely gonna need this. This is essential. Okay, and the rest we can just use Perimeter's equipped skills. Okay. Mega Blade in. Let's go keep that just because. Keep that in. And he's got me. I have nothing for this guy. <laughs> like nothing. Okay, 
now. I just like that he has enough health to like survive. And he's got that crazy thing that can be very useful in a perimeter wise, Ragnar. And I oh, are you director? Your skills. I'm gonna figure this out, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put some support on him too. I'm gonna get stronger. Well maybe first let me go see what those freaking things are. Direct. Direct. Okay, these are both direct, okay. I do want to equip one more skill, it's that slashy skill. This one, just in case. It's not gonna be that useful for us, but at least it'll give him enough. Alright, let's find some support. So direct seems to be his main focus. HP might be pretty useful. Support. Let's put that in too. Okay, well, all the other stuff. Stronger. Okay, and now we're gonna increase his perimeters. Okay, let's try this battle now. a healer now, I just realized that. Gosh darn it. I totally didn't plan for that. Very well. Let's see how we do. We might be okay, but we might not be. Healer, really bad. This slowly is completely useless. Thank you. 
That's so unfortunate. I think about a healer at all. I'm just gonna back out. I don't, I, I, there's nothing I can do. Retreat it's just taking way longer than I wanted necessary. to. Alright, let me put a healer in. Get Lily out because she is doing nothing for us. Alright, let's try this. I didn't think about the healer at all. Now we should be fine. We're gonna have our barrier and we're gonna have a healer too. So it should be okay. Oh, I'm caught off guard this time, really? That was like the worst way. I guess because. It has to be because of her. I feel like it
Attack! Fire! Hopefully we can defeat this guy. Good. I think we can, but I just have to keep him half split up. survived that but he did. Okay, maybe I can use Atsuma's... Yeah, I can. I'll finish him off. Actually, it won't. I just realized that. Actually, no. It does. Sweet. Okay. Alright, guys. We did it. OMG. OMG. That took forever. I don't have a Yuki anymore. Okay, we got the, got that. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's get Yuki out because she's officially a no go. Goodness gracious, that was hard. Definitely one of the harder golden battles I faced. I'm probably going to have to split this video in two. I didn't think that was going to take me that long. Uh, but I did finally get a system there, but jeez, it took me a second. Let's do this quick! I had to like double check. I don't think I'm lost before in the demo situations. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep going with this video because it just doesn't make sense. I'll catch you guys in the next video where I'll be doing this the other two orbs. Um, I'll just meet you guys on in the area for the third orb. Sorry that took me a while to get the second orb. Um, that was kind of a trouble with some fight, but the other two are easier. So I'll catch you guys in the next video where we do that. So. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Out of Orange with some Enchanted Arms, uh, the Complete Beast Warp. So I'll catch you guys in the next video for more. Please subscribe, comment, and do to make a girl happy. Peace out.